Hello, my name is Ashley Howard and I'm Senior Lecturer in Ceramics on the Ceramics and Glass course at the University for the Creative Arts in Farnham. And I'm going to talk to you about the BA programme. So we're talking about years one, two and three or levels four, five and six. And I'm going to refer to some notes and then just expand on those as we go through. So first year study, beginning with that, is a practical engagement with ceramics and glass. Students learn incrementally through a series of stimulating projects and are introduced to the workshops and skills that will ultimately enable them to design and make to a high standard. Students will develop confidence in making and testing ideas in ceramics and glass, alongside learning basic techniques of drawing, research, design, computer-aided design and theoretical skills to help explore projects to their full potential. At the end of level four, students specialise in ceramics or glass. Now, we are great believers in specialisation on the ceramics and glass course. We believe it pushes and helps maintain high standards and good quality work. <clears throat> it does mean that should, for example, a student choose to specialise in glass for the second and third year of the course, it doesn't mean to say they can't use ceramics again. There's always room for negotiation and where relevant to a particular student's study, then other materials can be used. We have the facilities and we have the know-how to do that. But, I reiterate, specialisation is key to quality. That's what we're aiming for here. The types of activities that Level 4 programme includes are throwing on the potter's wheel. Uh, we do slab building and coiling and use of coloured slips uh, and in glass. There's hot glass working and cold glass working and kiln fusing. All the basics are introduced through the projects that I've just mentioned. There are common areas between the two, the two are very closely related, and uh, the technical side, the chemistry if you like, the, 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 the way kilns are fired, these are all taught um, as part of the Level 4 programme. So it's a very active, very hands-on programme, you get to meet all the staff um, who are all experts in the field, and again you'll be working across those common areas uh, you know, not just ceramic techniques or glass techniques, but areas that are common to both, like mould making as well, which applies to both. So as we move through the course and we get to stage two, um, or level five, an important element of this second year study is to develop an individual approach. Students explore design and making either as a maker of bespoke objects or production processes for a range of contexts. They will speculate, test boundaries, experiment, increase knowledge of the material and refine technical skills and develop new ones. Students identify their interests and expand research skills, promoting a critical and reflective approach. Professional skills are further developed through competitions, live projects and collaborative opportunities and work experience within industry. And we also have a lot of international links as well and students uh, can take advantage of the international year which is a year out between um, stage two and stage three to go and work with one of our international partners. Then as we approach the end of the course, we're in the final year now, level six, stage three, students pursue and realise their ideas, identifying a personal creative direction and critically defining their practice within a chosen discipline. Participation in competitions, curating, exhibiting and the development of a portfolio and online presence establishes a strong sense of professional positioning within the field in preparation for opportunities and awareness of future direction post-graduation. <clears throat> 